So that's a great question. If early on in your illness you get tested, it could lead to a false negative test. It often takes the virus several days to grow in the back of someone's nose or throat for the virus to be detected. And if we test too early in someone's illness, we may miss the virus. Uh, and it's more sensitive if we wait while you have symptoms on day three, four, or five of your symptoms, the test is much more reliable. All that being said, that we want you to get tested, even if you don't have symptoms, and you're a high-risk worker in congregate settings, in retirement homes, long-term care or corrections, for example. If you develop symptoms, yes, we want you tested, but it's important that you understand the implications. Sometimes, early on in an illness, the test may be negative. So if your symptoms persist, you should get retested. Uh, we don't always trust just one test for someone that has persistent symptoms, especially in the summertime when respiratory illness is more rare. We would suggest uh, the f following up if the first test is negative and your symptoms persist with a subsequent test a couple of days later, just to be sure that we're not spreading COVID-19. The other important message is that anyone with respiratory symptoms shouldn't be in public, should be staying home. So it's absolutely safe if you didn't want to get tested on the first day of your illness to wait a couple of days, uh, see if your symptoms progress or resolve all on their own, and get tested at that time. But ensure that you don't go to work, that you don't contact anyone else while you're symptomatic. That's the time to stay at home, cover your cough, wash your hands frequently, and certainly wear a mask at all times in, in public if you have symptoms and you're going to the assessment center or you're going to your family physician or any other health clinic.